Hello everyone. So, <laughs> that's not my intro actually, but we'll stick with it. Hello everyone. Today we have a insane story. Okay, this one really blew my mind. I guess I could have guessed that people are doing this because of how prominent social media is and how everyone wants to portray this, you know, amazing version of their life that doesn't really exist. And we've known influencers to lie about how much money they have, you know, the rented cars, the rented houses, the debt, the credit cards, the DH gate, you know, fake designer goods or renting out designer goods for individual videos and TikToks and then returning it. But it's all made to seem like it's true, right? The girls on the yachts, but how do they get on the yachts? No one wants to talk about that. So yeah, there's definitely a um, a facade on social media. We've known that for a while. It's not like I'm spilling some unknown tea here, but we have a new version of this and it has gone a little bit too far now. We have Marlena Velez, who is a TikToker. She actually had a, a deactivated her TikTok account for a while, but then she's bought it back. Are these videos her talking about this whole thing? Get ready with me to talk about the elephant in the room. I can't believe I just clicked on her account and she's now actually addressing the whole thing. You guys are in for a treat. This is Marlena. She's on almost 400,000 followers and she got accused of stealing from Target to do her like crazy hauls. She lives this like clean girl, stay at home wife, soft life, Pilates lifestyle. And a lot of people just feel like she's always kind of looking down on people. Like, you know, oh, if you can't afford everything that I'm getting, are you even, you know, blah, 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 that kind of thing. And I've never watched her content, so I can't say if that's the vibe that I've gotten from her over the X amount of TikToks because I haven't watched her. But that's what people have been saying. So if I just go to like most popular, you know, we have, <coughs> shut up. POV or stay at home mum who doesn't like to stay home. And she's obviously doing this kind of aesthetic. And this is actually a, a kind of, not trend, a, a thing that she does. The, you're a stay-at-home mom that doesn't like to stay at home. There's another one. Day in the life of a stay-at-home mom of two, living a soft life. That's, you know, obviously comments are turned off. Here you're a stay-at-home mom who doesn't like to stay home. That's that's all her most popular content, right? And then she also evacuated from the hurricane. So I'm not laughing at that. I just mean like that was a whole other mess that I didn't cover, but it was a whole other mess with TikTok is like almost capitalizing on the hurricane. Anyway, so you guys get the vibe. Um, here is an article that talks about it from The Independent. TikTok influencer arrested for shoplifting after allegedly showing off stolen Target haul to 350,000 followers. Uh-huh. Right. So she's actually 22. I'm not saying it's too young to have two kids at 22. Stay at home mum of two at 20. I just thought she was like 30. Not because she looks old. But just... I don't know. I think these like stay-at-home mom, stay-at-home wife at 22. I don't know, there's something kind of concerning about that. I mean, to each their own. But I just think it's so young. I don't know. That's not... I'm not judging. I'm just saying there's definitely this trend now of idealizing, rushing through the life stages. But, like, if you accidentally rush through the stages, I'm not judging. Like, I am a child of basically a teen mom. But, like, I'm... So I'm not judging. I'm not judging, but I think it's become this idealized thing to almost want to skip all the stages and just get straight to stay at home wife. Which in this economy, you know. So she's been arrested for shoplifting after she allegedly flaunted a haul of stolen Target goods in a video to her 350,000 followers. This is obviously the TikTok handle that she goes by. She was charged with one count of petty theft in Florida. And it was the $500 kind of household goods and clothing haul from Target on October 30th. So obviously this is her mugshot. Why is this up? And then this is her on CCTV allegedly stealing goods. So the suspect allegedly picked up 16 items throughout the store and then scanned false barcodes with cheaper prices at the self-checkout register, authorities said. And it's so crazy because she's promoting this like, soft life, I live a soft life. Is soft life stealing? Is that what we consider a soft life these days? Because I can't imagine anything more stressful than trying to steal. <laughs> I'm not made for it, that's for sure. I just have so much anxiety as is, I can't do it. Sorry guys. Price says later that day, she then posted a video titled Day in the Life as a Mum, where she was seen in the same clothing at the same Target store police said. So they've matched up the CCTV footage to her haul. And they also looked at how much she allegedly paid, but how much she said she paid, you know, the whole thing. So she's allegedly seen picking out the same items that were stolen and placing them in the car. Her arrest came after police shared a photo of the suspected, well, her arrest came after police shared a photo of the suspected thief dressed in a tan outfit and glasses captured on surveillance footage inside the store. An anonymous tipper, tipster? 
tipster. Anonymous tipster then directed police to the influencer, sharing her full name, social media handles, and date of birth. I mean, to do it knowing that you're a public figure is crazy. It's kind of like when I talked about the Harris family. You know people can see it. Why would you put such a target on yourself? I don't know. So investigators were able to match Velez's TikTok video with the footage from Target, police said. Velez was also booked into Lee County Jail on Thursday night before being released on a $150 cash bond. Booking records show the 22 year old is scheduled to appear in court next on December 10th. Going to court for a Target haul on TikTok. And like, I know you make enough money from TikTok to not have to steal from Target. Because there are many people out there who, if I saw them steal, I mean, I, if I see anyone still, I'm not getting involved. But there are some people in 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 particular, I'd go, I can't see anything, you know, because you can see that they're struggling, you can see that they're trying hard. If I see like a mother stealing some formula or diapers, I'm not gonna be like, thief. I'm just gonna go, right, good for you. But you're a TikToker living the soft life, stay at home wife, living the soft life. If money is so tight, go to work. Like, it's 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 infuriating to me because it's this portrayal of something that isn't true. Because there are many people that have to stay at home with their kids because they can't manage paying for nursery, which is so expensive. So their husband takes on the burden of, of going to work and they are really struggling to make ends meet, but it would just be more expensive to put their kids in nursery. That's not the case with you. You wanna be this soft life, stay at home wife, just going to Pilates in a cafe with my kids and doing target hauls all the time, but you're stealing, allegedly, allegedly. And that's why I'm getting so sick of the idealization of young motherhood oh, I'm a stay-at-home wife and mum of two by 22 and I'm living the soft life. And it's portraying something that is practically impossible to people. And it also seems to be impossible for her, right? That's crazy. It's not even like she's doing it successfully and then it will fail for everyone else. It's failing for her too. So it's like, stop putting out this idea that this is just attainable for anyone at 22 to do, okay? And it's not even like she's living like a regular life. She's doing the soft life. She's doing the $500 target horse. She's doing the going to grab coffee with my kids and going to Dunkin and living above the average kind of household, right? So like, don't, it drives me crazy because then people end up not, they end up trying the same thing and it's not working and they think, why? Why, why isn't it working for me? But it works for this and this and this and this and this person, but they're either faking it, like I said, they're millionaires because they make the content that they make money from, right? So like, you're not really a stay-at-home wife because you have a job, TikTok, but you portray it as if you're a stay-at-home wife, but like, you're not, you just work from home let's call a spade a spade or you're stealing so anyway so like i said she reactivated her account but and then all of her comments are turned off now so you can't like read any of the comments this was allegedly the target haul oh she's done other target hauls so this is kind of like a staple in her life yeah target christmas run and she just puts in a bunch of extra mugs and you know, cutesy decorations and clothes. And that's just kind of what she does. First of many Christmas hauls. I mean, let's keep it to a minimum if we're gonna steal. Then we have some opinion pieces. Is any of this relevant? And the truth is social media is not real. The social media influencer is in jail right now because she was stealing from Target. She wanted us to see her Target haul. She recorded everything and posted it on TikTok. And that is how the police caught her through TikTok. This influencer has like 300,000 followers and we as consumers are just thinking, oh, just another influencer blowing a bag at Target. No, she stole it. Imagine going into Target, stealing a bunch of stuff, making a TikTok about it, posting the TikTok in the same. That's the exact haul that got her done. It's obviously in that nude outfit with the glasses, with the hair, and you know, the spraying the Prada perfume. Like it's supposed to paint an image that isn't real for her or for anyone watching this content. Okay, so don't compare yourself. If you're a mother at 22 of two, you're in the exact same situation and your life doesn't look like this. It's because her life also doesn't look like this. So let's all stop comparing ourselves. It's ridiculous. And then we have this. She came out about that TikToker, Marlena Velez. So she got caught on probation two weeks ago from that incident. And then also a girl that was supposed to be her friend in school, she came out to speak about a situation that happened with her. I guess she was friends with Marlena. They were at school, the girl had a car. Marlena asked the girl if she could sit in her car while she got picked up by somebody else and that she was gonna come back by lunchtime. So the girl didn't think nothing of it. It was her friend, right? So she was like, yeah, it's good. So when she came out for lunchtime, her car wasn't there. And I guess Marlena had crashed it in a ditch and her car got totaled and Marlena was supposed to pay her back, never paid her back. That's just the type of person she is. She's back on her account. I'm not gonna stop posting videos. She turned her comments off. She doesn't care what none of us are talking about. She's gonna continue to post and she's gonna gain more followers, more views because people are talking about her right now. And that's what she wants. 
if she went in Target knowing she's going to steal all that and she was bold enough to record, she's not new to this. She's true to this. She's been doing this. She doesn't care. Because if I was like, okay, I'm about to go into Target and I'm about to use a different barcode and I'm about to just not pay what I'm supposed to, like, I'd be scared as fuck and nervous. Like, I wouldn't even be able to be recording because I'd be like, oh, this is bringing more attention to me. She does not care. She's been doing that. That is such a good point. Like, just the fact that you're stealing, but not just like stealing, like, oh, adding an extra thing to your cart that maybe you're not paying for, but like, the whole scheme of changing the barcodes out, like that's something that she's obviously tried and tested, right? And then to be filming a TikTok while you're doing all of that, like she said, bring attention to yourself while stealing. Is that not crazy? And then obviously the thing that like in high school, she crashed someone's car and she like, didn't pay back. Obviously that's an alleged story. We don't have any confirmation for this, but it just sounds like something that someone like her would do. Just never want to take accountability, live in the soft life. Everything is, is mine and for, for me to use and for me to take. That's just the kind of person that it, it seems like she is. That's, that's the tea. Oh, that's disgusting. Anyway, that's the haul. And then obviously that's the CCTV picture. You've already seen that. And then yeah, the police spoke about it. Anyway, now let's watch what she has to say about this. I can't believe I clicked on her account. It always happens like this, okay? So this is that TikTok. Ready with me to talk about the elephant in the room. Oh, I got played. I got played so bad. This is the way Michaela Aguero addressed Lashgate, which is why, you know, let's address the elephant in the room and then does it get ready with me. Hmm. So she put in her caption, all jokes aside guys, just know my team is managing the situation. Everything is okay. My kids, my family, my home are all okay. No one cares about that. <laughs> Actually, quite frankly, with all due respect, no one cares. No one cares. What we care about is the fact that you're a fraud, allegedly. Despite the unfortunate, let me just turn this down. Despite the unfortunate situation that's unfolded, your continued love and support means everything to me. While there will be a time to discuss my wrongings now is not that moment and it doesn't mean i don't want to speak on it or take accountability for my actions it means everything is being dealt with in court so i just ask to please respect that i also want to be clear that this doesn't define who i am and it doesn't reflect the person i strive to be i do believe we all make mistakes and it's how we learn and grow from them that matters i'm committed to doing better not just for myself but for my family and all of you who have supported me moving forward i hope to continue sharing my life on here with all my ups my downs and the lessons. I mean, it's crazy that your downs are literally stealing from Target for a TikTok haul, but to each their own. And all the lessons I've learned along the way through all of this. That being said, for those of you who do still choose to support me, I want you to know that I appreciate you during this time. It truly means the world to me and hasn't gone unnoticed. Obviously comments are turned off for obvious reasons. Who would be in support of this? And someone said she had 300,000 followers. I know that sometimes we round to make conversations easier. But then an article said she had 320,000 followers. Now she's almost on 400,000 followers. Obviously there's a lot of curiosity. I just wonder how that's gonna to translate to actual like sustained long-term viewership. If this is actually gonna help her out rather than end her. Then we have another TikTok. I am unsubscribing. I just don't have the energy for this. I am unsubscribing from this drama. I just don't have- Is it drama or is it a crime? Like I sometimes think, we use the word drama loosely, and I'm also guilty of that. This is a crime. You can't just like unsubscribe from your own crime because we'll actually be seeing you in court. I hope you know that. So <laughs> I'll see you there. Wow, this is crazy. And she does kind of, I'm not calling her shallow. I'm not calling her, you know, that's, I sound judgmental sometimes. And it's because I am. <laughs> I love to judge people. She just seems like that kind of girly and I'm not gonna elaborate further on that. So that's that. Subscribe with the bell icon for engagement. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.